Hi, I'm Jonathan Buckley for Autoblog, and we're here in the American desert with some American muscle. This is Willow Springs International Raceway, and this is a 2016 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little intimidated, but what are we waiting for? When it comes to the big three muscle cars that are available, I would have to say that I've been probably a little bit more critical of the Challenger than I have of the other two. The reason being is it's big, it's long, it's heavy, and it's just a little bit boat-like in its handling. But what Chrysler have done with the Hellcat is essentially try and fix all of those problems by throwing absolutely bucket loads of power to the Hellcat. And, I'll be totally honest, I think it's fixed everything. <laughs> now, we've brought the Hellcat to Willow Springs Raceway in California. Now, the streets of Willow, lots of changes of direction. When you've got a heavy car, you're going to get that pitch and that roll. I guess the one word I would use to describe the Hellcat is mayhem. Now, the one we're driving today is the eight-speed automatic. Now, initially, I was a little bit disappointed. I kind of wanted to get the stick shift because I figured that that would probably be a better experience. But to be totally honest with you, the eight-speed automatic, I think it could be a little bit better. You've got your paddle shift and it's quite direct. So when you bang up through the gears... <laughs> go to the full custom mode if we like. That way we can just change every parameter that we like. Sport just stiffens things up a little bit. Gear changes become a little quicker. Suspension stiffens up. Traction just allows a little bit more wheel spin. And then track mode is where things get super exciting. If you've read anything about the Hellcat, you'll realize that it comes with two different keys. You have a black key and a red key. And thank goodness for me, they've given me the red key, which means you've got access to all the horsepower. If you've got the black key, you only have 500. It's the kind of key that you would hand over to your kid, not that you'd ever let your kid drive a Hellcat. Now, what does all this come in at? Well, base model, around about 65, I believe. The one that we're driving today, as it is, $70,000, we've got a sunroof and a gas guzzler's tax in California, but $70,000 will get you 707 horsepower that you can just lay down wherever you see fit. <laughs> when you first take off in this thing, you hear the rumble and the roar of the engine. You know you've got 700 horsepower and you know you've only got two wheels at the back to try and lay that down to the road. So would I recommend this uh, as a track car on a tight track like Willow Springs? Probably not, not unless you're a far better driver than I am. But does that mean that it's not a great car? Absolutely not. This car is just amazing. After spending a considerable amount of time in the Dodge Challenger Hellcat, I can honestly say that maybe it's not for everybody, but if you love old school American muscle with copious amounts of horsepower, I think it's fair to say there's probably not a better option out there than the Dodge Hellcat. For Autoblog, I'm Jonathan Buckley. Catch you next time.